Hi guys, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today I'm going to show you how to decoupage a candle. So what you're going to need for this tutorial are some of these kind of the church candles where you get the ones that are quite wide um, sort of thick all the way down like a pillar type um, candle. So we need one of those. You also need something that you're going to cover it in. I'm going to use rice paper. I'm not using this pattern, but this is rice paper. And if you can see on the back, you can kind of see what it's like. And it's a little bit stronger than napkins. You can also use napkins. Maybe something like this design would be great. So um, you would need one of those if that's what you're going to cover it in, that sort of thing. And if you are using napkins, then you will need some cling film as well. So if they're really, really easy to do. And um, I used for this the same sheet of rice paper for the whole of the three candles. Now, these came from um, Pound Stretchers. And I do know that Pound Stretchers are closing down. Um, but... The candles were three for two forty nine, but just keep your eye out um, for somewhere that sells them. I know IKEA sell um, candles as well. So what you need to do to start with is um, get your little piece of rice paper. Now I've already cut this to size. Um, this is the part that's left from the other two that I've already decorated, and I kind of looked at it, worked out what would work well with each candle. And um, once you've cut that out and got that ready, you need some Mod Podge. And again, I'm using this trusty matte Mod Podge. Um, I generally use the matte one all the time. And literally, you just have to paint the Mod Podge glue onto the candle. Now, I tend to do this in pieces and sort of stages. And I'm just going to move that round there. Hopefully that doesn't roll too much. And get your piece of rice paper and just pop it on to the candle. So you can measure it the best that you can beforehand and sometimes you have a little bit that you need to sort of trim off. I'm just working at a different angle today so, because um, the light's not very good down here. So I'm hoping that you can, um, that you can still see okay. But again, get your Mod Podge, cover the candle. Now I'm not sure I wouldn't recommend burning these after putting this much glue on them. Um, they would purely be for decoration. And then just work a little bit more round. Now, if you want to do it with napkins, it's, the principle is exactly the same. Um, you would just paste the part that, that you want to um, use, separate your napkins into three and just use the top part. Um, and then once you stick it on, pop over the top a little bit of cling film just so it doesn't rip because the napkins will rip a lot, you know, a lot easier. So just stick that down there. And this part there that's not quite straight, I'll just trim that to make that sort of level. And at the bottom, you can just tidy it up. What you can do is you can get some glue and you can just sort of go around the bottom and just sort of stick it in and kind of like bend it in just so it sticks down. And if it's too long, then what I would recommend doing is just cutting maybe a little bit off. So once you've gone all the way around there, I'll trim that little bit off there in a second. And um, what you need to do is to go over the whole of the candle in another layer of Mod Podge. Now be careful not to handle it too much um, because even though it is rice paper and it is easier to do than um, the napkins it still may rip if you're a bit sort of heavy-handed with it so still do be careful and what will happen is you're kind of sealing the candle and sealing the rice paper uh, to to it and this Mod Podge will dry clear now lots of people ask me if you can use PVA glue I know that people do use PVA glue I don't I always use Mod Podge but it's completely up to you if that's something that you want to do so what I'm going to do now is just trim that little bit there and I'm just going to leave that to dry and that will dry clear. It won't dry shiny because I've used matte Mod Podge. If you wanted a shiny effect and there is a glossy Mod Podge with, with um, a red label um, that you can actually use. So I'm just going to leave that to dry for a little while now. I'll show you them all, um, all three when they're finished. 
and here we have the finished set so the large one has now dried and I've put it together with the other two that I've done and um, so I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial it is very simple and easy to do and they can look very effective and you can chop and change them into um, sort of the style of your home and um, they also make great presents too so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again very soon bye for now